Hey guys, Hardik here from Botnot. In this video, we'll go through the first batch of updates we've released in January 2025. Uh, first one being Zendesk integration. So uh, Zendesk has been the most requested integration for us and uh, we've added uh, three types of actions you can perform with this integration. Number one is you can create Zendesk tickets from uh, your Botnot chatbot. So just connect your Zendesk account, choose the action you want to perform and map the fields. So based on these field mappings, it would create a ticket on Zendesk and uh, also give you the ticket ID so you can share a success message to your end user. Number two is you can fetch the status of an existing ticket. So if you have already collected the ticket number in the uh, history somewhere, you can just pass that variable in this block and receive all the relevant uh, responses from Zendesk and display to the end user. Lastly, is uh, for enterprises that use Zendesk for their live chat purposes, but they, those who want to use whatnot for the chatbot capabilities. Uh, so with this integration, uh, whenever the flow reaches this point, the system would automatically create a ticket in Zendesk, just so there is uh, a hold of uh, the conversation and to track what is happening. And your agents can add perform a live chat with the end user using the comments on Zendesk. So your agents would send a comment on Zendesk, which is again sent to the user on the chatbot and vice versa that interaction happens. So this allows your team to just stick to one platform, which is Zendesk and uh, avoid coming to the whatnot live chat tool. Yeah, so that's uh, Zendesk. Number two is the contacts page. So we've improved the contacts page because it's becoming a more integral part to our platform uh, because every chat involves a contact that interacts with it. So firstly, we've added the functionality of creating contacts. So you can click on create contact, give either an email address or a phone number and create it. And secondly, for every contact, we have opened a detail page. So when you click on any contact, it takes you here and you can view all the attributes that have been collected so far. And you can also see all the historical chats that this contact has had with the, your platform. Now, number three is uh, we have released APIs of our live chat uh, functionality. So uh, again, this is an enterprise uh, form feature. So if you are an enterprise that wants to continue using let's say Zendesk, Intercom or any other existing live chat solution that your team uses but want to use whatnot only for the chatbot capabilities. So using these APIs you can you know, uh, use your existing system and have whatnot take care of all the uh, initial level of interactions using our chatbots and EA agents. So we've released a bunch of uh, APIs here so you can use all of them and uh, see the uh, API documentation on this page. Uh, next up we have blocking contacts so this was again one more requested feature by a lot of customers using whatsapp and sms because you know a lot of people uh, do spam uh, your business a lot so now what happens is whenever you have an interaction on whatsapp if you want to block that person just click on these three dots click on block user and that's it this user is now blocked and he will not receive any future uh, messages from you and if you want to unblock, you can again do the same thing either from this page or you can again go back to the contacts page and do the same process. So that way the user is also unblocked. Lastly, we have uh, custom roles. Uh, this was again one more uh, most requested feature. Uh, we only had two roles back then, admin and agent. Uh, but now we have added this option called roles. So clicking on this, you can create a new role, give it a description and uh, we have opened out all the functionalities that our platform offers currently. Again, we'll be doing this in phases. So currently, they may be broadly available like functionality wise, but pretty soon we'll also generalize it. So each individual function of that feature will be available for you to uh, you know, turn on, turn off and uh, give your own uh, rights to those users. So that way you can create as many roles as you want and allocate that role to a user in your team. Yeah, so that's all for uh, the first batch of updates in 2025. Uh, please do check out our uh, product roadmap page. So we have added all the new features, improvements that we'll be working on for 2025. And uh, but it is exciting. So we are shifting our focus more from a chatbot platform to an agent builder. 
so that uh, no one needs to click on buttons you can just type uh, your requests and the bot does it for you so do, do check this out and if you are an existing client user or a partner feel free to add uh, your uh, requests from um, the requests page All right. thank you for watching